guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episode 9 of the Magical Revolution of the Reincarnated Princess and the Genius Young Lady. Alright, so we know what the frick is about to happen today. We all know it. I know it. You know it. Everyone knows it. We're about to have the fight of all fights. Hopefully, hopefully, the, the brother dies. That's all I care about. Like, literally, we could just skip the whole thing and just see if he dies today because I want him gone. He needs to go, like, now. I am so sick and tired of seeing his fucking face. Like, it, it was worse. Like, I literally, when I made the file of this, the first thing I saw was his fucking face. And I'm like, you know what? I can't wait for you to get your ass beat by your sister. <laughs> like, this is going to be the best thing in the world. But let's go ahead and get started in three... Two, one, go. So are we just seeing his POV? Oh. Yeah, you're a kid! I mean, I'm like when I was a kid, I didn't know I always want to play, but shit. Oh. Mm hmm Did it just freeze on me? Yeah, it just froze on me. Uh, okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, you froze on me. Okay, there we go. There we go. Wait. No. Okay. Was that supposed to happen? I don't think so, but whatever. It still syncs up. It is sad that he has all this hatred towards his own family. Like, damn, that's her family. But even in the real world, it's like that too. That was the gore. Uh, what well, that was the gory blood ish that I needed to see. Thank you. Yes. Damn.
Is it me? And I and I hate the fact that I'm comparing it to this, but the feels are really there. They're very similar relationship-wise to both Joker and Akachi from B5. Of course, the brother is Akachi and Honest is Joker in a way. If he's playing P5, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. For your pride, though. And in well. Uh, she gonna live. We don't need you to talk right now. I don't need you to die. No, 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 no. I mean, we knew that was going to happen, so I ain't surprised. This show literally just said double the Yuri, right? We're okay with that. Yes. I get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I see in a moment, like right then and there when he smiled, I thought that was him accepting the whole thing. Like, yes, go ahead and kill me. And he still could be. But I mean, still, he regenerates. Holy shit.
She's not going to be able to stop herself. That's the look of I'm okay. Oh! Because of, okay. If Yuffie did not come in at the moment she did, yeah, she would have killed her brother. Even though he would have been like, I'm fine with you killing me. There you go. Say it again. So, okay, since he's not dead, and honestly, I'm now okay with that. Can we now exile him? I think that'd be what better in my opinion. I cannot speak. Oh my god, I'm tired. And I get that you did, you did what you had to do because you thought it was best, but at the same time, you hurt your brother. So not only it is your fault, it's also Al's fault. Everything changed. That is the best choice. Don't say that. him
I would have liked to have seen them hug though, but damn, y'all, y'all, y'all couldn't give me that. the first step of becoming a better person. Damn. Damn, he is like the male freaking Junko. It just makes you wish, like, they could just go back in time and change everything to prevent this. Because even though, yes, he was an ass, like, truly an ass, you just feel bad for him. He's never going to see his family again. And I really thought, like, Honest would have said something else, but... Mm -hmm. Aww. That you're never going to see him again. Damn. Again, never trust the blinds. Never trust the male blinds. Usually the villains. Okay, no. This is the last goodbye. I mean, in a way, you are free now. It's because she needs to speak her final thoughts or moments with him.
Yeah, she's right. And now. There we go. All right. I think, you know, the Euphelia from episode one, yes, but this one, completely different. Come on, shut up. I'm almost done with the episode. Maintenance. Here go. Right? I really thought... But... <laughs> we all knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's he will probably never get to see her again. He will go old and never get to see his family again. All because of what happened. this heart but that was cute jesus like this this is a lot to take in like yes i i mean i feel like looking at him at all from episode one to halfway of episode nine like yes despised him hated him like fuck him like yes want to kill him like don't like him get him out of my face get out just go and in those last moments where Honest was literally that close of killing him and he just looks up at her very soft in a way is like I'm accepting this I will die right here with all the pride that he's lost like it's not only a pride as a man but like everything that he's done has led up to this moment that I think in some moments he does regret it. And I think, you know, even though we're not going to see him again for the remainder of this show, if they wanted to do an episode on him or just like this or an OVA on him more where it is, you know, maybe a couple of years later and he is still exiled and such, which I'm guessing because with exile, you can never come back ever. Um, he does reminisce about his sister and does think about the things that he regrets that he does he did 
Um, even his mom coming in and saying, like, I'm a failure as a mom. I think even if his parents, including his father, because I felt like his dad is just as wrong as his mother. When parents, <clears throat> when parents don't see the signs and such of one of their offsprings and something does come up, the biggest thing that others will always ask is, why didn't you see this? Why didn't you see that? And sometimes they can only say is, I didn't see the signs or I just thought they were okay. And you really don't want to do that. You, you want to be in your kid's life, especially with everything that, you know, they're doing, the good and bad and everything in between. You want to be there for when they need someone else to talk to. And especially when times get rough for them. But I've seen people that I've known of, of the friends that I've had in the years that I have been alive. Um, the difference of good parenting and bad parenting. And I feel like his parents, when it came to, of course, honest, like, do I want to say honest is like the golden child? In a way, yes. And of course, her, her brother is the black sheep of the group but because of that rumor if that rumor did not happen I think they would have had a better relationship and that they would have been able to get along and of course he wouldn't have started what he did but in another world in a different reality different timeline different everything they are together they are happy and yeah, they fight and bicker and everything, but not as much. But I really do feel bad for him. I, I'm I'm glad that he's okay. He's not dead. He's alive. This is now the start of a new chapter of a different owl. So now I don't look at him as an asshole. Because really, truly, like, damn. You got me in the last couple minutes. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> like, damn. I can't. <laughs> He's sweet, but I, I do feel bad for Honest because, yeah, she's never going to see him again. That really hurts. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 9 of the magical revolution of the reincarnated princess and the genius young lady. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day for the Magic Squad. And, of course... I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 10. Bye, guys.